Morning, afternoon, evening, YouTube. Hope everybody's good. Johnny Wilson here, Nottingham Physio, and today we've got a special class. Today we are doing legs, bums, and tums based on the science of health and longevity. So a very special class here today. And so hope you enjoyed it. 30 minutes. I'm going to start off with some mobility. So without further delay or procrastination, let is let's get on with the with the class. Okay, so let's do some work into lumbar spine. So just going down and touching the toes and then back up. Apologies if my belly is showing here. <laughs> Probably not what you wanted to see first thing on here, but anyway, sure. There are worse things going on in the world at the moment. So all the way up, all the way down, hold for a count of three at the bottom. And then back up to the top again. Good. Do three more of these. Down we go. Good, stretching it out. Two more of these. Down. Stretch it out. And then one more. Down. Stretch it out. Okay. Feet slightly wider apart now. Okay. And then what you're going to do, slight knee bend. Okay. Bring your elbows on the inside of your knee. And then rotate up and around. And get that rotation on. Push. So you can really keep that toe, uh, fingers on the ground if you can, and then up into that rotation. Good. Excellent. Four to do. Three to do. Two to do. Last one. Good. Now, feet wide apart. Today's notes for today's class. Okay, so feet wide apart, and we're doing our groin windmills, so we're just going over nice and easy on each one. Okay, good. 30. You know, you should feel a stretch on the inside of the groin here. And you're always trying to just reach over to that other side. There should be no knee pain or anything like that. And what we should be working towards is just improving our mobility something that is eroding from us as we go on later into our days okay five four three two and one okay i'm going to stretch out the hip flexors so what we're going to do for this one um is get a little step so you're going to put your front leg up in front of you okay and Leg goes on the step. I'm just going to get my mat out of the way a second. Okay, leg goes on the step like that. Just gets us into a deeper lunge. Okay, hands behind the head. And we're just going to go down for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We have four on each side, okay? Down we go again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two done. Two to do on this side. Right down deep into it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three done. Last one on this side, and then we'll do the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Opposite leg. So both feet facing forward. Get the other one. Get the back leg as back far as you possibly can do, and then down deep into that into that lunge position. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, one done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two done. Two to do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, three done. And then one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four done. Next exercise, you're just going to grab a cushion for your knees okay um and a little weight if you want to regress this exercise you don't need to use a weight okay so i'm just going to use a little weight carry it just by my shoulder and it's going to be on the same leg that's kneeling so if i'm kneeling on my on my right leg then i'm just going to hold the, the weight in my in my right hand so i'm just going to turn this way so you can see me a bit so i'm going to try and sit down into this position here and then back up, okay? So I'm sitting down into it and back up. Okay, we're doing eight of these. Two done. Three done. 
four on. Brilliant for mobility, brilliant for knee pain. Five, but just go as far as you've got your pain free range. Six, two more. Seven, last one. And eight, okay, good. Then changing sides. Again, weight on the same side as the knee that's bent. Try and be on the cushion, it's just, a lot, it's just more um, comfortable for the knee. And then down we go. One, eight on this side. Two, three, four, five, three to do. Six, you can take the weight away, of course, if, it, if it's too hard. Seven, and last one, eight. Okay, cool. Right, then we're gonna go to the floor. Now, you can get some weights if you want to make this a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna use five kg weights here. I'm gonna put the soles of my feet together. I'm gonna rest the weights on top of my leg here. And we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. You should feel it a stretch deep into the groin. If you're struggling with back pain, maybe you want to sit um, against the wall to give yourself a little bit of support there. But you're just feeling that stretch deep into the groin here. Okay, cool. And we're nearing the end of our mobility suite. We've got one more exercise to um, do, but we're gonna stretch out the groins, okay? So five, four, three, two, and one, good. Ay -ay -ay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands on the floor to support myself. I'm gonna drop my uh, right leg to the floor and I bring my left one across and then I'm going to grab it and hold it in that position and I'm gonna feel that stretch on my glute just there, okay? And we're holding this position for 20 seconds, just roughly 20 seconds. And then we are moving on to some leg strength work. So legs, bums and thumbs today at Nottingham Physio based on the science of health and longevity. Um, so a very special task today. I'm looking forward to it, it's gonna to be tough. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Back into that position again here. So this time drop the left knee out like that. Bring the right leg across over like that. Um, if you're struggling to do this, it can be a lot easier if you've got your support, get some support. So if your back is up against the wall, then that certainly helps. Okay, good. So just holding that position, you feel that stretch there. If you're not feeling that stretch, grab that knee and bring it right into you. And just feeling that stretch. Nice deep breaths. And then getting ready to change in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. First exercise on legs, bums, and thumbs, and mobility. You could say really, then couldn't you? Um, okay. So I've got a little. I've got a little object here that can be anything you want it to be. Okay. So it can be a bottle of water, whatever it is, etc., etc. And we're going to be lifting our leg over and back. You can use your hands for support if you need to. If you want to do the real aggressive way, the really tough way, put your hands up across your chest there. Okay. Getting ready. Minute on each side. This is going to kill. And away we go. Just over and back. Try not to hit your heel on the ground. Try and have control. And then maintain the core in a nice upright position. And each time you're just clearing that little object. You're going on the inside of it. You're going on the outside of it. If you're really struggling, put your hands on the, flo on the floor to give yourself a little bit of support. If you're struggling from there, take some breaks and then join back in when you can. So I can really feel this. My, all my quad muscles and hip flexors are really working hard here. And it's, I've got to try and control the leg as well going over this object. Okay, 15 seconds to go, guys. Keep going at it. I need to sit a little taller, I do. Five, four, three, two, and one. Banger of an exercise, but really, really, really tough. Okay. 
getting ready to go on the opposite side and away we go you might find that you've got more control on one side more so than the other side you might find that you're stronger on one side there may be pain if there's pain get rid of the object and then maybe just doing ones up put your foot back on the floor up put your foot back on the floor okay and support yourself with your hands on the ground 30 seconds gone you can see now that I'm fatigued I'm not concentrating and I'm hitting the object on the floor there and I don't want to do that I want to clear it but I want to have control as well good keep it going 15 seconds last 10 so I hope you're finding this tough because I certainly am finding this five four three two and one okay next exercise you don't need a step for it but if you got a step it just makes it a little bit harder okay and we're going to do single leg bridging if you can't do single leg bridging okay do double leg so what we're doing here is we're sat we're lying down on the floor like this okay and double leg bridging is when both feet are pushing you up into the air like that. If that's too easy, we're going to go into single leg bridging and we're just getting our bum up into the air and we're squeezing, okay? Right, are we ready? Set and go. Single leg if you can. And then you're going just slowly bringing it back down, up to the top, squeeze the bum muscles and then back down again. Good. Brilliant exercise for a function exercise for the glutes anyway that's for sure brilliant for ascending stairs descending stairs maintaining your quality of life maintaining your independence good stay at it let's see can we do a minute of this keep working hard you want to explode to the top squeeze the muscles at the top and then slowly back down good and again you don't have to have your foot on the floor on that step, you can have it on the floor, that's fine as well. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one time. Okay, opposite leg, getting ready to go for one minute. Ready, three, two, and go. If you need to, you can also put your hand on the floor for support if you're finding balance is an issue if not put your arms across your chest like that and then you want to just push into the floor or push into the step of your foot lift your bum up off the floor and then squeeze at the top when you get up there again if you can't do it on a single leg do it on two legs and you can always get stronger and when you're getting stronger then you can progress to that single leg again if you're struggling with your balance by all means put your hands on the floor 20 seconds to go so you power up squeeze at the top and lower slowly power up squeeze at the top and then lower slowly last 10 seconds good five four three two and one outstanding okay so while we're on the floor we're going to stay on the floor and we're going to do our crunch matrix legs bums and thumbs okay so make sure you got to wait to do your uh dead bugs in a little while okay so we are going to start off with just our normal crunches okay we're going to do five zero of these all right hands on thighs chin to chest eyes to belly button and five zero crunches let's go three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty one two three four five six seven eight nine forty one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, fifty. Outstanding. I'm gonna lift the feet off the floor. So hips are 90 degrees, knees are 90 degrees, and then we're gonna do mini upper ab crunches. 50, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Ay, ay, ay. So now what we're going to do is extend the knees so the legs are as straight as you possibly can do. And we're going to reach to the sky, reach our toes. And we're doing 50 of these. Ready? Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Outstanding. Okay, then we're going to do heel touches for 50. So it'll be 25 on each side, all here. Okay, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Outstanding. Then we're going to do what we call bicycles for 50. So elbow to knee, okay? And then just get one out of the way, just like that. Let's go. 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Whew. The power of this cannot be underestimated, okay? So, left leg, left heel over right knee, left hand stretched out, right hand to the side of the head, and we're going to do opposite elbow, right elbow to left knee. Let's go, 25 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25 done, 25 on the opposite side, ready, and let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. I nearly did 30 there. Okay, good. So now you're going to grab your weight and you're going to do dead bugs. And we're going to do two zero dead bugs. We're going to do 20 dead bugs, okay? So to do these, you grab a weight, you extend your elbows up into the air like that. You bring your knees and hips to 90 degrees. They stay there. You maintain good core control. And the only thing that's going to move are your shoulders, okay? So you're going to go into extension and back, and you're not going to, you're going to maintain good core control. Let's go. That's one done. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Halfway, ten to do. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20 done, fantastic, okay. Then we're gonna go into swimmers, okay? So I normally put my hands underneath my bum, I just like to do it, it just feels a bit more comfortable for me, and we're just flutter kicks like that with our, our legs, I call them swimmers. Let's go, 20 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Good. Then we're gonna go into Irish twists. So feet off the ground if you can, hands to each side, and we'll do twenty of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, ay, 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 21 minutes gone in the class, okay, so we're going to stick into what we said, legs, bums, and thumbs, okay, so we're going to get our step, and we're going to do step ups, okay, just on the right, you can use a weight if you want, okay, and we're just stepping up, managing the, the balance, okay, good, 30 seconds of step ups, and then 30 on the other side, so you're just dropping down, and dropping up into that, okay? Good. So you're almost like trying to manage that balance at the top and then just drive through that step as you're going there, okay? Good. Halfway, 15 seconds to go. And then we change sides. Excellent, you're doing really well. Good kind of pace to this. Three, two, and one. Okay, change sides, let's go. Up and down, manage the balance, but we've got a good pace to it today, okay? So as I come down, I kind of step off the step, and then I come back onto it, okay? Good. Managing that step up. 10 seconds to go on this side. After this, you're gonna need a chair, and we're doing our sit to stands. Three, two, and one, okay. Now I normally do to my sit to stands with weights, so you don't have to do them with a weight. So you just get a chair. Time is against us this morning, as it is every day when we do this. And we are going to do 30 seconds of sit to stands. Grab any weight you want, okay, hold it in any way you want, and away we go. 30 seconds, sit to stands. There is seven minutes on the class left. Crazy how quick it was. So just grabbing that weight and then sit to stand. Really functional exercise. And the chair normally makes it a little bit easier to get a good squat. Good. Five, four, three, two, on one, okay. So then we're gonna do our wind, weighted windmills. I'm gonna, gonna go on a step for this, because I'm using my weight. We're gonna do six on each side, okay. So just keeping the environment as clean as we can. I like to do this one with my shoes off. It's gonna be opposite hand to opposite leg, okay. So I'm holding the weight in my left hand, and I'm gonna be working my right leg. So we're doing these for six, okay? So down. Okay, it's just a nice one down and then straight back up, put the leg down, one done. So we're not going down slowly for 10 or holding for 10. Two. Three, that's good. Try and keep the knee as straight as you can. Four, by being on a step. You can let the weight go down a bit further if you're using the kettlebell. Of course, you don't need to use a weight. Five, one more. Six, okay. Tough exercise that when you weight it up, okay. Six on the opposite side. Five minutes to go, guys, come on. Let's go. One. Two, outstanding. 
three. Try and keep that knee relatively straight. Four, two to do. Five, last one. And six, okay. Well, we've got the step there. We need to make the most of the time we've got. So we're gonna do step downs, okay? So, I'm gonna do 30 seconds of step downs on each side, okay? Hands above the head, find your step, and just down and up. You don't have to touch the floor, you can do if you want, or just down and up, just like that. Good. Trying to maintain good balance, a little bit of pace with this one today. Okay, so just now on this side, I can go a little bit further than I can on my left. So I'll be a bit more careful on that side. 10 seconds to go. Good. Up and down. You should feel the quad starting to burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Opposite side. We are going at a pace today, so we are. Right. Down we go for 30 seconds as well. So I've got to be a little bit more careful on this side. So I don't go down in the depth and I don't go as quick on this side. Just managing that knee. Um, really important exercise, so I don't want to take this out of my program. But I do want to make it in a way that it doesn't aggravate my knee, but it does strengthen everything around it. And I'm finding it a challenge to manage the pace. Four, three, two, and one, okay, well done. Okay, step backs with overhead throw. So grab yourself a little weight. Okay, and we've got 30 seconds of these. And ready, and let's go. So just step back. Good, just like that. Doing brilliantly. Absolutely fantastic today. Just gotta keep it going now, okay? Stepping back into that. Little step back, and then those weights go over your head superb good stay with it now 10 seconds you got it you got this come on next one three two and one next one is jogging on the spot let's go on that spot let's get that jogging going okay 30 seconds jogging on the spot you got this. Less than two minutes to go in the class. And we're just bang on time. And I do mean bang on time. Okay, good. 15 seconds to go. Last 10. Coming on to five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Hamstring kicks, let's go. So just opposite hang to opposite leg. Just like that, good. 30 seconds on knees. Nearly done. Come on guys. Time is absolutely flowing today, hasn't it? Good. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so feet nice and wide apart, as wide as you can. And we're just going down into that sumo squat position, okay? So we're loading up the groins. If you want, you can grab a weight for that. Okay, and we're going down. This is it. Last exercise. Push it right to the end now. Feet as wide as you can. Feet faced outwards as well and going deep into that sumo squat as much as you can, okay? Really working all the muscles that we've been looking at today. Legs, bums, and tums all in this final exercise. So you'll feel those quads and those glutes if you're getting nice and low into it, really working. The abs has gotta be on because we're in that squat position. Okay, good. Coming up to five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, what a phenomenal class. Our special edition of Legs, Bums and Tums based on the Science of Healthy Longevity today. Hope you really enjoyed it. I certainly did. 
many thanks to all of those who uh, support me every Wednesday. Uh, you guys are fantastic. We catch up live every Wednesday morning on Zoom. If you want to know more about the class or get in touch, please do so. Other than that, this is Johnny Wilson, Nottingham Physio, signing out.